Hi, my name is Dr. John Kilkin, and I'm a pain specialist with Franciscan Physician Network, and today we'll be talking about spinal cord stimulation. A spinal cord stimulator is a surgically implanted device. It uses electricity through leads that are implanted over your spinal cord to alter the pain signal that is received by your brain. Let me give a brief description of this procedure. There will be two incisions on your back. The first goes up and down, it's in the middle, about this long. That allows me to tie down the wires so they don't pull out. Another incision goes on one hip or the other and allows me to implant this battery underneath your skin. The first step is to have an appointment with either myself or another pain specialist to determine if this is a good option for you. Before pursuing this device, there are several steps we need to take. The first is everyone must pass a neuropsychological evaluation. There are two reasons for this evaluation. Number one, we want to make sure you have a basic idea of what this device is. Number two, we want to make sure you have a realistic expectation for what it can do. The next step is we will verify with your insurance provider that this is a covered procedure. This may take up to two weeks. At this point, you're ready to do a trial of this procedure. A trial is where we insert a lead, just like this one, into your spinal column, but there's no surgical incisions. There's nothing implanted. Everything is externalized, and you can take this home for one week and try it out. After your one week trial, we will discuss whether or not this therapy is appropriate for you. The things we look for are, was your pain better? Did you need less pain medicine? And was your function improved? If we determine that you've had a successful trial, the next step will be surgical implantation of this device. If we decide to go ahead with surgical implantation, this is done as an outpatient in an operating room. Typically, people will come in, have the surgery, and leave the same day. We want to make sure that you have a driver to bring you, that you haven't eaten anything before this procedure, and that if you're on any blood thinning medications, that you've held them appropriately. Our nurses will help you decide how to do that. An anesthesiologist will keep you comfortable during this procedure. Implantation of this device takes about an hour and a half. You'll go to the recovery room for another half hour after that. Following the procedure, we'll have you come back to the office about a week later and then a month after that. A device rep will be available to help you program the device and answer any questions that you have. This discussion was about spinal cord stimulation. If you have further questions, please visit franciscanhealth.org or call your pain specialist.